this is a perfect example of a single wide unit. Basically, I know this is a very dilapidated unit. If we look at the old version of that old 1970, 700 square foot home, this is what it's turned out to. A beautiful living room back here. We have all this space. We have a dining area, a beautiful spacious kitchen. This home had sold for more than $390,000. What's up guys, today we're gonna show you how mobile homes work and how we can raise the value of the mobile home just by replacing this single wide to a double wide and beautifying the home itself. This is a perfect example of a single wide unit. Basically, I know this is a very dilapidated unit, but we're gonna use it as an example. The first step is to understand the value of this unit. So the value as it stands, this is a 700 square foot, two bedroom, one bath unit. The value of this as it stands is about $140,000 and that's if, and that calculation for $140,000 is if everything's functional, everything's working. The next item on number two is understand what our cost would be if we wanted to maintain this unit to get the value that it has to be to get that $140,000, right? So with the roof issues here on this unit, with the skirting issues, with some flooring issues, We've already calculated that the repair work would look somewhere around $30,000 because in this part of California, repair is very difficult to get and the roof alone could be over $11,000 if we wanted to do a replacement. Number three is doing a measurement of this lot. So the first part of measuring is identifying where the lot lines are on this unit and then using the carport as the starting point to doing all those measurements. So we have to understand that there's the home as a single wide as it stands, and then we find the lot line and the perimeter of the lot itself. The reason we're doing this is so that we can identify how big of a home we can put on here. And we also identify if there's any blocking issues. When I say that, that means like a large tree, if there's a fire hydrant, if there's utilities, if there's access points that the park needs to get to. Those are things that can block and affect how big of a home we can fit on this lot. So we have to identify all of those. Now, by doubling, we know that we can put a double wide home right here. The carport is gonna stay the width that it is, but we're gonna build a double wide and replace this old single wide 700 square foot home. And we've identified that this can actually fit a 22 by 60. So 700 square foot it is right now. And if we put a 22 by 60, that'll allow for this unit to be more than 1,300 square feet, almost doubling the square footage that it currently is right now. And using that information, we identify what is the potential value if we were to hypothetically put a brand new home in this unit, what would the new home value of this unit be, right? So that's how we have to calculate and give advice and make these decisions of, hey, should I do these repairs to maintain my home, to get my 1970s home to be functioning just for now or should I use that money instead to replace my old home with a new one because it could be a better outcome later down the line right so if we've identified that this can be a 1300 square foot home we know that this can be a three bedroom two bath unit so by understanding that we know that we can raise the value of what the future home sale price will be and even if you're not planning on selling, you should know what the new home value of the home can be so that you can make the right decision. So after doing a comp analysis, we've realized that a new home, 22 by 60, if we were to do the comps or an appraisal, they would appraise this home to be about $390,000, right? That's a huge jump from that 140 to the way that it is now to $390,000 for a brand new home worth right now by understanding that that's what the future new home value would be now we want to understand what is the cost for us to take this old unit out and replace it with a brand new 22 by 60. and by looking at that we've understood that to replace this old one with a new one would be about two hundred seventy five thousand dollars and now understanding that we know that we can actually make that investment what would the return on investment look like and what are the pros and cons of replacing this with a brand new home or doing the repair work on site so this is an example of the old 700 square foot unit we scraped the lot we've removed the home we've demolished it and then now we're looking at the foundation of the unit obviously we can see that we're going to now maximize this lot to be 
a much larger home for a much nicer home to be on this lot right we're gonna add the carport right there we're gonna put that 22 by 60 right here so this is an old unit that was the exact same scenario as the other one that was a single wide back then and we replace it with a 22 by 60. so we've turned it into a double wide we've maximized what we can do on this mobile home lot this home had sold for more than three hundred ninety thousand dollars right and by knowing that we've really raised the value of what the mobile home worth is so as you can tell just like how we kept the driveway the way it is you know the driveway really stays at that point that it's at and we've maximized the value on this side of the unit right so we have that three foot clearance on the left side that is needed for this home to maximize that lot and then let's take a look at the inside of the unit as well if we look at the old version of that old 1970s 700 square foot home this is what it's turned out to right because we've doubled the width, we have more to work with. We can build a beautiful living room back here. All this, we have all this space. We have a dining area. We have a beautiful, spacious kitchen, however you like it. And we also have three bedrooms in the back, right? We have a very quality constructed home that has the standards of the modern day, right? The old home was built in the 70s with metal exterior, with very thin insulation, with not so great electrical standards or fire standards and that sort of thing. The big thing I want to mention too is you don't have to pay all those repair costs that you're going to have to do with these old units, right? So this is huge. I hope that more people understand this because I have so many people that come to me way later down the line when they've already spent so much on fixing up their old 1970s home. They spend tens of thousands of dollars and then they're like, shoot, Franco, I'm tired of it. I'm sick of it and I just want to get a new home, right? If we can understand that this can be done early on in the process, it'll save you money in the long term and it can make you more money later down the line when you need to sell the unit or that sort of thing. And the other element that we'll do a video on is the financing as well. We have to understand like, hey, what's our current financial situation? A lot of people think that it requires a ton of down payment to get started with a brand new home. But guess what? This is how the wealthy get rich is by understanding how do I leverage a loan to make my assets worth more? And that's a key thing when it comes to this type of thing. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully this helps kind of alleviate a lot of the questions of whether or not we should replace an old home with a new one or do those repairs. And if you ever have questions on whether or not you should make that decision, don't be afraid to reach out to us on our YouTube channel or anything like that. If you like our stuff, definitely subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.